Right now, we have developing news in Hawthorne where a small plane crashed and burst into flames. Workers rushed to rescue the pilot after the plane slammed into a tree just outside the Hawthorne Airport. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live with their heroic actions. Christy. Yeah, Pat, because of those heroes, paramedics were able to rush the woman to the hospital. And I want to show you her plane came to. Arrest right over there where you see that investigator. Right behind him, you'll notice those cones. That's where the crew was working. They rushed to her aid. Now, we should mention that firefighters say that when paramedics arrived, she was in full cardiac arrest, but at least she was alive. Next thing I knew, there was a plane coming straight at me, so I ran out of the way. Just a few feet spared Byron Mays from being hit by an ultralight plane. As soon as the plane hit the curb, it blew up and the flame just kept getting bigger and bigger. Through the flames, the 18 year old says they could see the pilot in trouble. Their own truck was filled with neutralized acid, and he knew they had to act fast. We pulled her out of the plane before we even got to the fire extinguishers or anything. Her legs were on fire, and when my, that's when my partner ran in and grabbed and pulled her out. Around noon, Mays and his crew from Best Drilling and Pump were working on a well on West 120th Street. They'd seen planes flying at Hawthorne Airport across the street all day. But the takeoff for the airborne XT 912 was immediately different. It kind of just went straight up and just veered right. And as soon as it veered right, it was when my partner started yelling, Oh, watch out, watch out, there's a plane. This is video from Pacific Blue Air. It's believed to be the only business that operates those types of planes at Hawthorne Airport. The company didn't answer the phone, but Mays tells us the lady he pulled from the wreckage was wearing the company's jumpsuit. Police are calling the 18 year old and his co workers heroes. Mays just hopes their efforts were enough to save the pilot. We checked our pulse, and sadly to say, there was no pulse at first, but the paramedics were doing as best as they could to keep her, keep her breathing, keep her going. No one else was on board the plane. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board are now on the scene trying to determine the exact cause of the crash. In the meantime, 120th between Prairie and Crenshaw is closed. Police hope, though, to reopen it by 6 o'clock.